Unit 3, Lesson 6, Interpreting Rates. Number 1. A pink paint mixture uses 4 cups of white paint for every 3 cups of red paint. The table shows different quantities of red and white paint for the same shade of pink. Complete the table. Well, I've divided the 3 cups of red paint by 3 to get that 1. And if I did that, I needed to divide the 4 by 3, which gave me 4 thirds. So for every 1 cup of red paint, I would have 4 thirds cups of white paint. In order to turn the 4 thirds into 1 cup of white paint, I would have to multiply it by its reciprocal, which would be 3 fourths. So 4 thirds times 3 fourths equals 12 twelfths. 12 twelfths equals 1. So 1 cup of white paint. Next, I'd have to multiply the 1 cup of red paint by 3 fourths. 1 times 3 fourths is 3 fourths. You notice the 4 in the red paint column. I already have 1 cup, so I can multiply that 1 cup by 4 to get 4 cups of red paint. Next, I'd have to multiply 4 thirds times 4 to get 16 thirds. 16 thirds is also equal to 5 and 1 third. I'm going to divide the 4 by 4 to get 1 on the white paint side, which means I need to divide 3 by 4 on the red paint side, which gives me 3 fourths. So for every 1 cup of white paint, I'll have 3 fourths cups of red paint. Now I can multiply 1 cup of white paint times 5 cups to get 5 cups of white paint. And if I multiply the white paint by 5, I must multiply the red paint. By 5. So 3 fourths times 5 equals 15 fourths or 3 and 3 fourths. Here's a look at the table with each of the quantities of red paint and white paint. Number 2. A farm lets you pick three pints of raspberries for twelve dollars. So I made a table, the P stands for pints and the dollar sign stands for dollars. Three pints for twelve dollars. A. What is the cost per pint? Divide three by three and you get one pint. Divide twelve by three and you get four dollars. One pint for four dollars. B. How many pints do you get per dollar? So I divided the four dollars by four to get one dollar, and I divided the one pint by four to get one fourth. For one dollar, you can get one fourth of a pint. C. At this rate, how many pints can you afford for twenty dollars? So if you multiply the four times five to make twenty dollars, then you'd have to multiply the one pint times 5 to make 5 pints. So for $20 you could afford 5 pints of raspberries. D. At this rate, how much will 8 pints of raspberries cost? Well if 1 pint costs $4, 8 pints is going to cost 8 times that. So 1 times 8 is 8 and 4 times 8 is 32. 8 pints of raspberries would cost $32. Number 3. Han and Tyler are following a polenta recipe that uses 5 cups of water for every 2 cups of cornmeal. Han says, I'm using 3 cups of water. I will need 1 and 1 fifth cups of cornmeal. Tyler says, I'm using three cups of cornmeal. I will need seven and a half cups of water. Do you agree with either of them? Explain your reasoning. I made a chart with water on the left and cups of cornmeal on the right. Five cups of water for every two cups of cornmeal. Five divided by five to get one cup of water and two divided by five to get two-fifths of a cup of cornmeal. So every one cup of water, they would need two-fifths of a cup of cornmeal. Now that we know how much cornmeal we need for one cup of water, we can multiply that one cup of water times three 
to make three cups of water for Han. When we multiply one cup of water times three, we'll also have to multiply two fifths times three, which would give them six fifths or one and one fifth cup of cornmeal. Exactly what Han said he would need. Now let's see how Tyler did. Five cups of water for every two cups of cornmeal. Two cups of cornmeal divided by two to get one cup of cornmeal. And five divided by two to get five half cups of water. Tyler says he's using three cups of cornmeal. So let's multiply his one cup of cornmeal times three to get three. Since we multiplied that side by three, we'll have to multiply the five halves by three. And that's going to give us 15 halves or seven and a half cups of water. Which is exactly what Tyler said he needed. So the question for number three asks, do you agree with either of them? And my answer would be yes. I agree with both of them. Number four. A large art project requires enough paint to cover 1,750 square feet. Each gallon of paint can cover 350 square feet. Each square foot requires 1 350th of a gallon of paint. Andre thinks he should use the rate 1 over 350 gallons of paint per square foot to find how much paint they need. Do you agree with Andre? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, first of all, yes, I agree. One gallon of paint for every 350 square feet. So one over 350, one would represent gallons, 350 would represent square feet. On my chart, I put 350 square feet on the left and I put the gallon on the right. For every one gallon, the paint covers 350 square feet. For an unknown number of gallons, it's going to cover 1,750 square feet. They just asked a simple question. Do you agree with Andre? Yes. 1 to 350 is the ratio of gallons of paint per square feet. And now to finish out this chart, I'm going to multiply 1 gallon by 5 gallons and 350 by 5, since 350 goes into 1,750 5 times. So it would take a total of 5 gallons to do the job and cover 1,750 square feet. Number 5. Andre types 208 words in 4 minutes. Noah types 342 words in 6 minutes. Who types faster? Explain your reasoning. On Andre's chart, I wrote for the number of words, 208, and the number of minutes were 4. On Noah's chart, the number of words are 342, and the number of minutes are 6. Divide 4 by 4 on Andre's chart, and divide 208 by 4 to figure out how many words he types per minute. Andre types 52 words in 1 minute. On Noah's chart, divide 6 by 6 to get 1 minute, and divide 342 words by 6 to get 57 words. Noah types 57 words per minute. Andre types 52 words per minute. So Noah types more words per minute than Andre. Number 6. A corn vendor at a farmer's market was selling a bag of eight ears of corn for $2.56. Another vendor was selling a bag of 12 for $4.32. Which bag is the better deal? Explain or show your reasoning. The table shows the first vendor sells the ear of corn for $0.32. Cents. Eight divided by eight equals one and $2.56 divided by 8 equals 32. So one ear of corn for 32 cents. The second vendor sells an ear of corn for 36 cents. 12 divided by 12 equals 1, and $4.32 divided by 12 equals 36 cents. The better deal is the first vendor. One ear of corn for 32 cents. Number 7. A soccer field is 100 meters long. What could be its length in yards? 
Well, I know that meters are slightly longer than yards, so you're going to be able to fit in more yards inside that same amount of space. So the only option that makes sense would be 109 yards, D. Meters are longer than yards. It would take more than 100 yards to cover 100 meters. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 3, Lesson 6, Interpreting Rates.